Californians are calling for the recall of Governor Gavin Newsom. There is a petition out right now, and it already has more than 80,000 California voter signatures. Joining us now is one of the main proponents of RecallGavin2020.com, Mike Netter. Mike, good to talk to you. How's everything? Going really good. It'll go a little bit better as soon as we get this drive completed. Well, let's talk about uh, what areas you believe Governor Gavin Newsom has failed Californians. Well, like Logan, I don't know if I have that long a segment, but if we were to start with a simple one, it's lack of leadership, violation of the California, California Constitution, basically shutting down our businesses and trying to push on every community, including San Diego, his way of life, which we don't agree with. Um, it's time we struck back and got new leadership in California and not allow the Gavin Newsom and his cronies to continue with what they're doing. Are you focusing primarily on kind of what has happened, what he's been doing since COVID-19, or are you looking at other issues as well? No, we're looking at a lot of issues. This petition drive started almost a year ago. It literally started with the buyout where Californians vote something in, like the death penalty, release of criminals. Gavin Newsom then decides he's going to do his own thing, if you will. A really big one to focus on, in our opinion, is AB5, which he signed in January, which we're wondering, frankly, right now, if you could do an executive order to shut down businesses across California, why can't you suspend AB5, which stops independent contractors from earning a living while they can't go to their regular job? Yeah, I know we've talked to a lot of people about AB5, and there seems to be obviously differences of opinions, whether it can be fixed or whether it should just be thrown out completely. Um, let's talk about, I know some of the issues you're passionate about is, is, well, the homeless issue here in California. I mean, the high prices for homes and rents, things like that, traffic. Um, what would you like to see him do with respect to some of those issues? Well, for starters, how about addressing the homeless problem? Frankly, uh, the party which is in charge, if you will, and I want to stress Recall Gavin 2020, we're technically nonpartisan, but the party's in charge in California with the 80% in the Assembly and the State Senate that Gavin signs everything they do, have done virtually nothing but make the homeless problem worse in California. When you talk about the high price of homes when people are unqualified for, how do you really think it's going to work out when they not properly? property taxes up on commercial buildings, which is Proposition 15 on the ballot, and literally force people out of their homes with Proposition 19, which is going to be on the ballot next. Gavin supports both these propositions and is doing what he can to get them on the ballot. So real estate as we know in California, has become unaffordable. So Newsom's plan, I guess, is to take the price of our homes, move on all the taxes into the government, and use it for other pet projects of his, like the bullet train. <laughs> How many signatures are you looking to get? And if you get that many, what, what are you hoping to do? What's your next step here? Well, let me do a slight correction, and I hate to correct you, Logan, but we have well over, let's say, five times the amount of signatures that you mentioned earlier on the air, right? We need 12% of the people that voted for governor last time. That's technically 1.47 that's about 1.5 million signatures. Realistically, we need to gather about 2 million. Our goal is to, our technical date is November 17th. Our real date is we'd like to get it done, which we think we can do before the November 3rd election to kind of wake up California. We're doing this with emails over to literally 5 million Californians, mass mailings that we're sending out. There's over 350 permanent signing locations, and you can always use the home key. It, which means you can print out the petition at your house at eight and a half by 11 paper from recallgavin2020.com. Our mantra, if you will, is print, sign, mail, donate, because it takes money to recall a governor and participate by taking that petition and getting five to 10 other signatures of people that you know. Mike Netter, appreciate it. We'll uh, put the website on our website as well. It's recallgavin2020.com if you'd like to get some more information. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.